I want to talk with you for a minute about God's promise of abundance. God is the giver, and you are the receiver. And God's greatest gifts are bestowed not upon those who do the greatest things, but upon those who accept God's abundance and God's grace. Well, I pray today that you will accept God's abundance and God's grace. In John 10, verse 10, it says, I have come that they may have life and have that more abundantly. When the Bible describes God's promise of the abundant life, it isn't just talking about the uh, acquisition of material riches or earthly fame. It's talking, actually, about something much better. When God's words promises that we can experience abundance, it's describing a higher spiritual plane, an elevated level of emotional maturity, a sense of genuine security that gives meaning and richness to all of life. All of us are free to accept God's gifts, or we are also free to reject God's gifts. And many times, that's what we do. We reject them. We say, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not deserving. Uh, I haven't done enough of this or that to have these things. Well, we have the choice. The consequences that follow are ours and ours alone. How we choose determines how we live. Well, I pray that you'll choose rightly. Today and every day, you are surrounded with God's blessings, but it's up to you to recognize them and to embrace them and hold on to them. Open your mind and heart to God's riches and then share those riches with a world in desperate need of the God kind of abundance.